Hello and welcome to Master Psychor. My name is Martina and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a button to the launchpad. Because the launchpad is a speak interface we'll be using Visual Studio and Psychor Rocks and we will be in the core database. Here's my sample site in Psychor Explorer and we're going to as I said expand the core database which is where all speak applications live. Under Psychor Client and Application is where you will find the Launchpad app. And if I expand that, you can see that there's quite a large subtree underneath it. Uh, and you're quickly going to spot buttons here. Uh, and this is where all the buttons that appear on the Launchpad uh, are listed. So each of them has a group. Uh, and under there you have a, a Speak button. To add a new button, it really is as simple as uh, right-clicking and adding a new button. So let's do that under Tools, for instance. Let's right-click and add, and the Launchpad button is already listed here. We'll call it Martina's app. The location of the item in the tree reflects where it will be displayed in the Launchpad. So this is going to be the fourth button that appears. Uh, and every button has a bit of text, an icon, uh, and a link and some additional behavior options. So I'm going to call it Martina's app. I'm going to choose an icon. It should be 32 by 32. Just change that. I'm going to link to an app that already exists because I haven't got one at the moment. So I'll just reuse the app center link. And then you can choose whether you open it in a new tab or not. Save, uh, you don't need to publish or anything like that. And that really is it. So this Martina's app should now show up in the launchpad if we go and have a look. And there is Martina's app. And you can see the width is adjusting depending on how many apps I've got. And it'll just cont continue to slide sideways if you add um, your own rows or columns rather. Different roles are going to see, or even different users will see a different combination of buttons. And security is set up exactly in the same way um, as any other item. So if we go and have a look at desktop, change to the core database here, and then go and have a look at that set of items in the security tools, so the access viewer. Under client, applications, and launchpad. Of course, Anonymous can't see anything, but if we look at analytics reporting, that group, do this again, and you can see that that group has access to quite a few buttons under marketing. And depending on which roles you're in, you'll have access to different buttons. If you're curious as to how these buttons are being displayed, well, because this is very specific to the launchpad, this ability to view launchpad tiles, it's actually a rendering under the page settings for the launchpad. So it's not listed in the common library of business components, but it's under page settings. So these two renderings here, launch bar and launch tile and launch tiles, um, are used on the presentation details on launchpad. So if we control U to view presentation details, you can see that launch bar and launch tiles have been assigned to placeholders. And to prove that these are the components that are outputting the panels, I will change the placeholder here to something that doesn't exist. Save that. Go back to the launch pad and the buttons have now disappeared. You're probably not going to want to do that, but if you wanted to add your own set of components to the launch pad, this is where you would do it. And that's how you add a new button to the launch pad. Thank you for listening.